Hey everyone, so in this tutorial, you will learn an integration between Slack, which is a messaging application for internal communications of businesses and companies, and Google Tasks, which is a task managing and to-do list building application. So here we are using Slack as a trigger so that as and when you are going to receive any message according to that message, our task will be created here in Google Tasks, which is our action application. So guys, let me show you how you can also do this. So guys, here we are using Pabli Connect to set up this automation and to reach here, you can use this link pabli.com slash connect. We have pasted the same link in the description as well. From here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account by clicking on the sign up free button and you will get free automation tasks to set up and test your automation. Okay, so after signing up, you have to log in and reach here on the dashboard. Here you have to click on this create workflow button and here you have to give a name to this workflow or automation. So I'm giving the name here. So after filling the name like this, you just have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page started loading up here. And on this page, you will see the trigger and the action. So here in the trigger, we are going to connect Slack and in this action, you may have to connect Google task. Okay, so when this happens, that means whenever you are going to receive a message in Slack, do this. This means a task will be created in Google task. Okay, so here in the trigger, you will find this choose app field. From here, you have to choose Slack as your trigger application. And in the trigger event, you have to select this new message option. Okay, so this will be the event which is going to trigger this workflow or start this workflow. This means whenever you are going to send or receive any new message that is going to trigger the workflow. Okay, so click on connect here. And here you can see it is written every 10 minutes. So this trigger act is actually polling based. This means it is going to check for a new message in every 10 minutes. So in every 10 minutes, if you got a new message that is going to trigger the workflow. Okay. <clears throat> So click on connect here and from here select add new connection then click on connect with Slack and here it is asking for the token type to connect. So here we have these two token types user or bot. So for both of these uh, token types you have different kind of permissions to connect with Slack. Okay, so you can check the connections uh, sorry the permissions here by clicking on this here word. Okay, and from this forum page of Pabli Connect, here you can see when you are going to select user as the token type, you will get all these permissions to get the data from Slack. And if you use bot, you will get all these permissions. So you can accordingly select the token type. Here I'm using user. So you can just copy it and paste it here. <coughs> then click on save. And from this window, it is asking to give the permission to Pabli Connect to connect with Slack. So here you have to click on allow and you will be automatically connected with Slack. You can see we are now connected and here it is asking for the channels name. So in Slack, we have many channels you can see. Okay. And my team is communicating on this channel named as Pabli team. Okay. So I'm going to select the name of this team from this drop down. So when you click here, it will show you the list of all, uh, all your channels. Here is my Pabli team channel. I'm selecting it. Okay. And here I'm going to click on save and send test request. And the most recent message or the last message that you have sent or received in this Pabli team channel will be captured here in this response section. Let me show you how. Here you can see <clears throat> this was the last message we have received. New task for this person. And this is a text. Okay. So now let me click on save and send test request here. And here you can see we have received this uh, response. It is showing the type as message, the user ID. And uh, here you can see that message type is text. And in this uh, elements text, you will see the whole message that you have received. Okay. So here in this response, you can see we have received the message type and the text that we have sent. Okay. And here you can see this is the user ID of that person who has sent this message. Okay. And here in this in these labels, you can see in this element type label, it is showing you the message type as text. Here is the text new task for and I have uh, tagged a person in this message, you can see 
at the rate Gary Monroe. I have tagged this person. And here it is showing the tagged person's user ID is this. Okay. And the text is this. Right. So we are going to fetch the user whom we have tagged here with the help of this user ID that we have received here. Okay. For that to happen. So uh, let's uh, let me show you the things step by step. So this is this was our trigger. We have received a message that is going to trigger the workflow and the action would be to add a task in Google task. So here in the section step, search for Google task. So here is Google task, you can see select this. And the action event would be create a task. Okay, create task, then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection, then click on connect with Google task. From here, you have to select that Google account by which you have the access of Google task application. All right, and it is asking some additional access for connecting with Google account. So just click on continue. That is completely safe and you will be connected with Google task. Okay, <clears throat> right. And here it is showing you the tasks list. So I have created these to do list. First list is my task, a Trello list, an integration app list and a teamwork list. So let's say that I want to add a task here in this integration app list. Okay. <clears throat> So I'm going to select my list from here, integration app. Here it is asking for the task title, task notes, and the due date. So we can uh, fill the data here from this previous step. We have received the uh, message text, okay, to create a task. So we can map the details here. So we have the task title. So the task title can be this new task for and in the task title also we can mention the name of the person to whom we have assigned the task here but you can see we have received the user id of that person we do not have the name of this person so we can retrieve the name by uh, adding another action step here we can retrieve the name and also you can see it is asking for the due date so here we do not have the due date as well okay so we can automatically create a due date also Okay, so let's say that you want the task to be completed in 24 hours in, in a day of duration. Okay, so we can use some features here to get these two things, the name of the person to whom the task is assigned and the due date. For that, just click here on this plus icon in between these two steps and another action step will open up. So from this action step, first of all, I'm going to retrieve the name of this person, Carrie Monroe, who whose ID we have received here in this label. Okay, which label? This label. This one, user ID label. Okay, so for that, I'm going to connect Slack again here. Okay. And the action event would be, you will find a option here, which is get, get user. Here you can see we have this get user by ID option. Select this get user by ID, click on connect. And from this window, now you can use your existing connection. We have already connected Slack in the trigger action, trigger, trigger step. So the connection that we have made there is saved in your account. So you can use the same connection again. So I'm just selecting this option and clicking on save and I'll be connected again with Slack. Okay. And here it is asking for the user ID. So I'm going to map this user ID guys, which I have received here. This elements one user ID label. So to map it here, you just have to click here and it will show you the previous step in the drop down. And when you click on it, it will show you all the data, all the data here only from here, map this user ID label. Okay. Then click on save and send test request and it will show you the details of that user to whom we have tagged. Okay. So you can see the username was this, the real name is this, Gary Monroe and the email ID is this. So we, now we got the details. All right. And, and the other thing we want is the due date for the task. Okay. For that, just click on this plus icon again. And from this another action step, search for date time formatter. So uh, date time with the help of date time formatter feature, you can uh, fetch the current date, you can modify the current date, okay? Current date means the date on which the workflow is triggering, okay? 
so as and when you are going to send or receive this message about any new task in every 10 minutes the workflow is going to trigger and on the same date we want that uh, one day after that date on which we want to create the task the task should be completed okay for that i am going to use this actions tab which is called modify current date select modify current date option click on connect and here it is asking for the dates format so you can see here in this google task action step which date format it is asking so here it is asking the date in this format yy mmdd and a t in between hours minutes and seconds okay <clears throat> so you can select this same format from this formats list just click here and it will show you this format in the last select this okay then select the time zone my time zone is asia kolkata you have to select yours and in the operation select addition option in the unit select days and in the value put one this means it is going to add one more day to the current date and you will get the due date so click on save and send test request and here you can see we got the date time label in which, in which we got the date and the time okay in this format so this can be used as the due date so now it is time to map the details here so in the task title okay so you when you are, when we are clicking here it is not showing the previous steps so for this you can refresh the connection with google task just click on connected once more and from here keep this select existing uh, existing connection option selected and click on save again and you will be connected again with google task so the connection is refreshed now when you click here it will show you the previous steps so for the task title i am going to use the first step and i am going to use this text label new task for <clears throat> for creating the task title and here in this title only i am going to mention the name of the person to whom we have assigned this task and i am going to mention that person from this second step where we have fetched the details by user id so here we got the name just map the name in the notes i am going to map the message that we have received from the first step and we have received the text here in this text label just map it here in the due date map the due date from the third step like this okay now we are done and you can check your connection you can test your connection with google task by clicking on save and send test request here you can see we have this list so uh, let me show you if a new task is getting created or not so i am clicking on save and send test request here this is the response we have received let us check in our list it is getting refreshed and you can see a new task got created here with this title new task for gary monroe and from here only your concerned person can check the task and you can see the due date is tomorrow and complete the task and that's how you can manage your task properly using this automation so now we are done setting up this automation and we do not have to do anything manually after setting up this now as in when you are going to send one more thing guys one more thing you can see this is a general channel we have my team is communicating here and we are uh, we are conversing about many things here not just about the task we can converse we can chat about many things but uh, we do not want to create task for every message we want to create task whenever we are going to mention any person like this and say to him or her that a new task is assigned for you okay so when this condition match true that we that when we are going to assign a new task here then only we want to create a task here in this list otherwise we do not want any task to create here so for that to ensure i am going to use a feature here to apply this condition here so you can apply this condition here uh, after this date time format uh, just click here on this plus icon <coughs> and you can use a feature here which is called filter to apply this condition so you can see filter by pabli here it is asking to select the label and the select the filter type and put a value here so guys i want that whenever we are going to receive a message in which we got a mention and a task word okay then only i want to create a message otherwise not so here i am going to select the labels which we have received from the first step okay and here we have received these labels you can see this is not a first step this is the first step 
here we have received uh, this label text label here we have task word added here in this message and a at the rate mention also okay so i'm going to use this label and i'm going to apply this filter condition here so just click here and it will show the previous step so from this first step map this text label make the filter type equals to okay equals to and put the value here as task <coughs> all right this is one condition if you want to add another condition we have this and condition option here and or condition option here so i'm going to apply the and condition just click here and i'm going to from the trigger i'm going to select uh, this label now in which we got the user id okay and in this user id we have received so in this user id we have received the user id so uh, when you are going to mention any person it will show you the user id like this so when this id label exist in the response and in the message you have received the task word then only i want to create a task in google task so here in this filter now i am going to change the filter type as uh, is exist okay so when your message have the word as task and a user id exist in the response then only i want to continue the workflow and create a task in google task so just click on save and send test request so here you can see it is showing the condition is false okay okay sorry so here actually uh, in this message you can see in this message that you have received from slack the message should contain this word task the message should not be equal to task but it should contain this word so here you have to select the filter type as contains okay not equals to here i have to select contains okay and this user id should exist in the response <clears throat> So now let me click on save and send test request and here you can see now the condition is true. So when this condition match true, we want to create a Google task here. Okay. Like this. So just uh, click on save and we are done setting up this automation and guys, you can use this same workflow that I have created because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description. So, and you can clone this same workflow in your free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.